Hello, buddy. Um, I know you're probably live right now, which is fine. You can stay live on that dead, on that dead channel. You're more than welcome to stay live on that dead channel because you now pushed it to the point to where not only is YouTube getting involved. But now you're going to be having higher up people involved. I told you not to fuck around or you were going to find out. Well, you did just that, didn't you, big guy? You fucked around. Now you're going to find out. Because, see, in the not-so-distant future, you will be hauled in the court. Because, see, while you're over there being a loser, I'm going to be over here hanging with rich motherfuckers. Yeah, you know, dudes like who you pretended to hang out with, such as, oh, I don't know, a major YouTuber by the name of Keemstar. Who, if you didn't know, runs the Cow podcast. Who, by the way... I'm good friends with Wings of Redemption, a.k.a. Jordy. He's actually a very good friend of mine in real life. And I have been so graciously invited onto their show. Which, of course, Jordy being the good guy that he is, him being a good friend of me, I said yes. Because, see, Marty, you're below me on the food chain. You are way below me on the food chain. And you want to know how you are way below me on the food chain? You're a loser. You do loser things. You do loser actions. You make loser actions. You make loser moves. You create garbage. I, on the other hand, create high quality content. Oh, and uh, Marty, all I got to say to you is this. Good luck trying to break into my shit. <laughs> because it's not going to happen. Yeah, you may have gotten my other channel, which I'll be getting that back to here very soon. So don't, don't, don't count on keeping it for too long. Don't count on keeping that shit for too long, Marty boy. Yes, here before long, I'm going to get that account back. And once again, I am going to take back over, wipe you out, clear everything out like always. Same song and dance.
But only next time it is going to be different for you as well. Because see, this next time after I get that account back, on top of building this one up, you're going to be facing court charges, my friend. You know how the old saying goes, Marty. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. You hang out with pedophiles. You yourself eventually become a pedophile. You hang out with losers. Eventually, you yourself will become a loser. But people like me that hang out with the right people, become wealthy. Because see, Marty, I'm on my way to the top. And this time, you can't do shit to stop me. Sure, you can send your little chrome dome cronies after me or whatever. Yeah, sure, you can do that. You could. But it's not like I'm not going to sit there and block them and wipe them out. Because I am keeping this channel troll free. And if you think for one second that I'm not going to take back every single dime that you and every single troll have stolen from me, well, you're very wrong. You even said to yourself, Marty, there's three things you don't get in the way of. A man, there's three things you don't touch in a man's life. Is actually four. His woman, his family, his radio, and his money. And you, my friend, have messed with my money. Therefore, now I have to smack you on the hand like a little baby back bitch and tell you, no, no, this is daddy's money, not yours. This is my money, not yours. Like I said, Marty, and I know CIA, you've been a good friend of me, dude. And I know you'll even agree with this one, my friend. Show me your friends. I'll tell you who you are. Am I really a coward, Uncle Jimbo? Am I really a coward? Or am I just a motherfucker that sees what's going on? Uh. <sighs> Sorry, CA. These guys are boring as fuck. Oh, yeah, CIA, don't forget to message me about the whole YouTube thing, man. Let me know what we need to do to get them involved.
Like I said, Marty, you thought you could stop me. But not this time, clown boy. I would say you look like Grimace from McDonald's, but you're more like Grimace's reject cousin. with facial hair. But like I said, Marty, you think you're getting into this shit. You think you're getting into this count or into this channel. And you're more than welcome to try. But it's not going to work. Because, Marty, what you don't realize is this. Some of us like myself are not scumbags like you. But you, my friend, are a scumbag. It's like they say, Marty. Show me your friends, and I'll tell you who you are, fat ass. And I don't care about starting from square one. This is literally a game to me at this point. This is literally a kid's game that I beat Marty at every time at this point. This is legitimately... A game to me at this point. <laughs> That's so you think. So you think. But y'all are more than welcome to think what you want. Y'all are more than welcome to think what you want. Because unlike you, Marty, and your little sacrificial lamb army, Which, by the way, your sacrificial lamb army is a joke. Hey, Willy Wonka, how's that chocolate factory going? Hey, William Gloria, a.k.a. Willy Wonka. How's that chocolate factory going, man? Got any new chocolates out that I can eat? Oh, wait, that's right. I forgot. You're too busy diddling kids just like Marty. I forgot. I forgot because you're Marty's right-hand pedophile. I forgot. That's right. I forgot. That's right, William. You're Marty's right-hand pedophile. I forgot. My bad. The 
But Marty, if you think that your little fucking army of trolls phases me, it really doesn't. I mean, I'm not even paying attention to what they say. That's how boring they are. The only ones I'm paying attention to are the ones that are actually good comments. That are from actual people. Hey, look, it's N-Word the Clown. It's Krusty the Clown. How you doing, Krusty Clown? Still touching kids with Marty, I see. A goodbye. I go to buy. I mean, you're more than welcome to try, Willie Wonka. But uh, you're not getting in this time, buddy boy. I mean, you could try. But uh, you're going to fail. But yeah, I just thought I'd come on here, Marty, and let you know that uh, it's okay, youngling. One day, one day you'll be rich like me. You'll be on the level that I'm on. And Marty, here's a little bit of tip. Here, here's a tip for you, Marty. Here's a free tip for you that could change your life, actually. Because dead ass, it did change mine. Change your mindset for being a loser. Change your mindset from a troll mindset. To a business mindset. Get rid of these loser trolls. Out of your life. Change your ways. And uh, you might actually be able to do some good in this world. But as for me Marty. I have big boss baller moves to make. I have business shit to set up boy. Because I actually have a podcast to prepare for here in about a month or so. So I got to check on that. And got to make sure everything's in line with that. Plus, I got a brand new album that I'm working on slowly. So I got to get back to working on that. And here, as soon as the time is right, I'm going to have an art shop up and running. For the real fans that want some artwork. So. Or maybe I'll do art cards. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But. I actually have businesses to run Marty. So uh, if you'll excuse me. I have to bounce. So Marty. All I have to say to you is this. Good luck in court. Because when it comes to the CIA hole, you're going to need it. So, good luck. Now, like I said, Marty, my, my best advice to you, change your ways. Drop these losers. And change your mindset. Because once you change your mindset, Marty, you can unlock a lot. So, change your mindset.
and you might change a lot more than you think. Good luck to you. Peace.